show is brought to you by the Gems and Jewelry Export Promotion Council. So without further ado, I'd like to invite on stage Mr. Vipul Shah, Chairman of the Gems and Jewelry Export Promotion Council, to take stage. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Vipul Shah. P. Pandey, Additional Secretary and Financial Advisor, Ministry of Commerce and Industry. And now I'd like to introduce the chief guest of the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, we are honored to have with us tonight a renowned fashion designer, social worker, and a politician, and a great family friend. She's involved in social work through her two NGOs, I Love Mumbai and Giants International. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together and give her a huge round of applause, the lovely Shana NC. All that glitters is gold. And let me start by saying that um, thank you, Vipul Bhai, Pankaj Bhai, Malaika, of course, and all of you, because I believe that the most innovative industry today is not the fashion industry. It's clearly the jewelry industry in this country. <laughs> and as I said at the inauguration today, we all talk about make in India. Really, the innovations that one sees in the jewelry industry is make in India at its best. I think it's high time we overtake all international markets, and the only way to do so is if to the best of our abilities in Maharashtra and in India, so that we ensure maximum export, that's what you want to hear, maximum production, that's what we want to hear, and maximum sales, that's what every woman wants to hear. <laughs> thank you all for having me here. Shaina, thank you, but we'd like you to please...
Well, time now to move on to the awards. I'd like to ask some amazingly distinguished people to kindly come on stage and help us present the first set of awards. May I please invite on stage Mr. Amit Pratihari, Director, Retail Forevermark. Masaba, who is a fantastic new age designer. And Shaheen Abbas, another fantastically talented jewelry designer. <laughs>
Thank you, Mr. Pandey, and thank you, Mr. Parikh. Thank you. Been put in the spot, and you're wondering <laughs> now what? It's it's this one center spot that yeah. they've asked me mm -hmm. to be. May I say on. that you're looking absolutely stunning, thank gorgeous, you. and beautiful thank tonight. You. Well, we thought we'd kind of have a little fun with you. You are a fun girl, and we always <laughs> know that we we can we can rest all be assured that we'll have a great and fun time when you're around. You. Well, we all know your love for jewelry. Okay. And uh, your mom designs amaz amazing jewelry, right? Yes. And you, are you wearing her jewelry tonight? No, I'm wearing Farah's jewelry. Farah. Yay, hey, Farah. It's uh, Farah Khan and Gemfields uh, today. Well, I think I'm wearing Farah tonight as well. <laughs> yeah. Well, tell us a little bit about what you've learned from jewelry. What is it that you love? What kind of jewelry that you enjoy wearing? What is it? Is it you know, new kind, old, art decor, nouveau pieces? What is it that you really enjoy wearing? Honestly, I've been the brand ambassador for the Gem and Jewelry Export Council of India for the past seven years. My mom's uh, been a jewelry designer for the past 20 years. So my history for jewelry, for the passion and for the love of jewelry has been very, very long. And I'm, very, I'm a very proud ambassador. And um, so, yeah, my relationship is um, very attached, I think we should say. And I think it's a good thing. So I love jewelry. You have I, a very, I, very fond attachment with your very, jewelry. Very, very, very fond <laughs> attachment to my jewelry. Well, tell us, is there any particular era or design that you're drawn to? Is there something that you really love? Um, you know, honestly, I love uh, traditional Indian jewelry. and. Uh, uh, nothing more beautiful than a gutta pasal or a mango mala or a gorgeous, uh, you know, uh, basra, you know, pearl uh, necklace. Hopefully, because I think, you know, over, around, princess, all. So I, I think a marquee would be really Your nice. ideal? Ideal. But, you know, they say never talk about it. So, God, I just did. Okay, this is just between <laughs> you and me. Nobody here heard it tonight. No, Nobody. I think everybody did. <laughs> Nobody heard you. Okay, tell me, is there that one piece of jewelry that you've been kind of eyeing for a while? Yeah, you know, I, I really want to buy a, a, you know, a solitaire. A, a string. string, a yeah. Well, string now, of solitaires. Now's your line. time. Now's your time. Say it loudly. <laughs> so, you, you know, some. No, you I can buy it for myself. <laughs> Why? Why? You've got to have this nice, handsome gentleman out there, somewhere waiting, and who's going to buy you these lovely diamonds. <laughs> I'm going to remind you of our past, told you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Don't even remind me of that. Don't even remind me. Okay, if there's one piece of jewelry that you'll never, ever take off, what is that? Uh, one piece of jewelry that I never, ever take off. I actually don't like to sleep with any jewelry on, so I usually take out every piece of jewelry before I pass to sleep. So it's all by your bedside. It's all by my bedside, which is very scary, but yeah. I think we all are pretty much like that. Yeah. I, I, I kind of agree with you. Okay, and if you as a fashion diva, somebody who really loves jewelry, huh. what is it that you would, you know, advise if there's one piece of jewelry that everybody should own? One or piece invest of, in? Um, honestly, it always has to be a nice pair of earrings because you can dress up anything if you have a nice pair of earrings. So that is what every girl should have in her jewelry box. I mean, box. you know, that, guy. You know it's asking me this question is really unfair because I love excess. <laughs> you want it all. I want it all. Yeah. But if that one piece, it would be a pair of, great pair of earrings, Great right? pair of earrings, well, yeah. Fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen,
Let's hear it for our brand ambassador, Sonam Kapoor. I think she Thank was you. really, really frank about it. Thank, Thank you, you so Thank much, you Sonam. So much. Thank you. Thank you.
whatever. I think these are all part of, of a creative license. So it's really unfortunate if it is if that is how it is. Because and I and I hope in time it is kind of relaxed so that everybody is happy. <laughs> to say whether it's good or bad I think it's each to his own if you feel it's necessary then so be it I personally believe being natural is much nicer but I'm nobody to say whether <laughs> about time i think i have traveled by train all my college years and it has been it was a nightmare traveling by train and i think uh, the railway uh, ministry should uh, take up this call uh, and and make sure that it is uh, safe for women to travel clean for women to travel and not a and not a nightmare because i've traveled by train and it's it's horrible it's really like, uh, sorry well, I just want to wish everybody a happy and a safe Holi. I don't really play Holi because I don't really like colors and stuff, but our, my, our kids play. So I just like to say, play. Uh, if you're playing, make sure you avoid colors, and if you do use, then use organic safe colors. Cricket. 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 Yes, I watch My favorite player currently, for me, I love MS Rohit. Na bas orbit ne na. Idhar kahi dena na.